Daily Devotionals for January 10th. Today's scripture reading will be out of Philippians 4. In fact, for the next few days, I'm going to be reading um, in Philippians chapter 4, and I'll be reading out of the Amplified. Today's scripture reading will be uh, verse 6. Do not fret or have any anxiety about anything, but in every circumstance and in everything, by prayer and petition, definite request, with thanksgiving, continue to make your wants known to God. So, you know, God does not want us to be anxious about anything, any circumstance. You know, that is where the enemy, there's so much sickness and disease and infirmity today, more so than any other time. And for most of it, it's rooted in fear. You know, fear, you can have fear or faith. I prefer to have faith. But if you have fear, the enemy has access. You give him access to your body. And, you know, wherever, wherever he has access, he takes uh, possession of. And there, I've, I've just been reading some things about, uh, I studied it years ago, about how the enemy uses fear. Fear will go into anxiety and panic, you know. And then Bob would talk about that. He said there's more people in uh, the ER on Sunday nights. They should be in church, but, you know, they, they have the fear. They're going back to work. They're not going to have enough. There's all these things that come against them, especially on a Sunday night. Probably fear that their team lost the ball game. But, you know, God doesn't want us to fear anything. You know, if we trust him, then we should have our faith, not the faith in God. We want to have faith in God, but we need to have the faith of God. Okay. He lives in us. So we need to be walking in faith. Um, I always believe that faith, okay, faith is from God, fear is from the devil. So if you have fear, that is really faith in the devil. Okay, we can't have anxiety. Anxiety gives you ulcers. My goodness, I've seen so many people sick to death. Well, they really are sick to death. I mean, it can kill you. Fear of man, that is the worst thing ever. And the enemy uses, I talked about this the other day, the enemy uses people. People will use their words against you to bring fear and anxiety. I remember <clears throat> right after I met Bob, that was something that he he prayed for me. He, he like brushed it off of me and he said, you will no longer have fear of man. Well, it, man will put guilt trips on you. You can never measure up to the standard of man. Well, so what? <laughs> I don't want to measure up to the measure of man. I want to measure up to the measure of Jesus Christ. He is the one that I follow. You know, the question he asks is, will you follow me? Yes, we will. And when we follow him, we're walking not only beside him, we're walking in his footsteps and he has no fear. Remember, God is love and perfect love. He is the perfect one. Perfect love cast out fear. So if you have fear, cast your cares upon him and just sell, you know, Bob saw the, the uh, spirit of fear, like a, a like a, a big, uh, like balloon, you know, just full of hot air. And he popped it with a pin. That's all it is, hot air. You know, it's up here working on our mind. So say no to fear and embrace faith, embrace truth. Okay. All right. Till next time. Be blessed.